Hello there and welcome back to another awesome Lego video. Today is sort of a part one to tomorrow's part two as I'm currently working on building a giant Star Wars mock for this space just behind me. I cannot reveal what I've already started on but I have indeed built as you've seen 18 pod racers. I wonder what tomorrow's mock is going to be because that gives no spoilers away. 25 years of Lego Star Wars, 25 years of Episode 1. I had to do a scene from that very first Star Wars movie. First chronologically, of course, not the first one released. But anyway, I've got all 18 pod racers. I hope there's 18. If there's more than 18, let me know which one I've missed in the comments and I will rectify it by tomorrow. But as far as Google's telling me, there's 18. They're all named. They've all got minifigure studs in them they are very very small builds but i thought i'd just take the time today to go over each of the builds because it's the most technical part of the entire display and i don't want to spend time in tomorrow's video waffling on about all the different pod races pod racers i have connected the pod race pod racers are they pod race if they're pod racing does that make these all pods or pod racers because the pod racers are the driver anyway i will be going over all 18 i have remodeled anakins and sebulbas from the appearance in the advent calendar and i think we've seen a few others in lego form so i've taken some inspiration but these are all unique builds and without further ado let's take a look at them so as you can see on your screen i am holding the camera the new stabilization feature i have found is honestly a lifesaver when it comes to me recording videos because my hands are definitely not the steadiest you still see it in videos my hands are very shaky so it allows me to record some content with my camera just like this and it'd be a lot clearer for you than any shaky hand content so we'll start off with this corner they are ordered so i know the names of everyone piloting the pod races the pods and it just makes it a lot easier when I'm trying to place them out to get their rough position. There's not really a shot where I can see where all of these go in the movie. So I'm just going to have to wing it to some extent and hope that I don't get them too far out. But we're starting off with Ben Quadinaros, which I'm now realising this is also the first time I am saying most of these names out loud. I know Ben's has got, I don't think it's got a Lego set, but it's got a bunch of other toys. It's one of the more popular of the lesser known characters and they do have the twin engines at the front and as you can see i've actually flipped the studs on the back of it which does show up later for one other pod but that just allowed me to get the green stud under on top and the orange triangle which is in fact underneath not the green stud i well, the green studs on the underside of the one by two plate but not on the underside of the pod if that makes any sense the next one we have is Rats Tyrell, which I think is how you pronounce it. And I tried to keep the little colour strips in it. I couldn't tell some shots it was blue, some shots it was orange. I've gone with blue because it's a lot nicer. And of course, we have a famous dog who sports an orange pod showing up later in the video. But they sit sort of above the engine. So I've just used a 1x2 clear plate, which actually has come in very handy for a lot of these pods and that's enabled the actual cockpit of the pod to sit above the engines the next one is a low flying one so we have got it sort of landed just sat there ready to take off and that belongs to boles raw i believe the name is and that's quite a simple one i've just used one of them studs with the bars on a one by one round translucent brick which has enabled the engines to sit up just a little bit and they are quite some chunky engines i have used i think the little pinned tiles the round one by ones with the pins on top for the back because it does sort of shoot out and there is a pipe out the back but the next one dud bolt you might recognize his snout his long almost like a beak in the representation of this piece on top that tan and that dark blue stud are representing rats and bolas respectively so we've of course got dud bolt represented well here i think i've built the pod racer quite nice for how it shows up of course not terribly accurate not too accurate to how you see on screen but they are all sized with each other as well how they should be 
give or take a few meters for the studs. I mean, it's not that big. It's not a few meters, but it is a little bit out between the two of them. We then have Anakin Skywalker, who's a late entry to the race. And as you can see, very similar to the advent. I have to switch it up. I don't actually know what I've switched up on the pod racer here, but there is... I think there's a difference. I don't even know if there's a difference anymore, but... It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward, and definitely takes inspiration from the Advent build. We've then got Mars Guo, who this pod racer is one of the most unique. I've got it clipped down based on this sort of Toto shaped piece here, which is holding the engines on. And that is the only stud holding it up, and I can no longer place it. There we go. But the engines do have, I mean, the cockpit does have a little bit that sticks out to the side, the nice green slope on the front. And of course, the engines do have their nice sort of speaker sized. I don't know, with the engines, they sort of go in, they come back out, they have something sticking out on the top, two things sticking out to the side, which is why I've used the sort of T bar element and. I think I've represented that pretty well. It was the most complex, I think, out of all of these that I had to do. There's a few others later on, but it was the hardest so far, and I think I did that well. But the biggest pod of them all, of course, belongs to the Doug Sebulba, which was a great one to go with. I think the Advent build was very close to the Anakin Skywalker pod size, so you can definitely rest assured I beefed it up, sized it up, added the turbines on the left and right the bits that stick out had to use round studs instead of squared off plates but definitely got that fade from metallic to orange and the engines out the back had to make sure they extended near enough to the actual cockpit of the build and again the engines are just being held on with two translucent bricks i think we'll jump forward try and keep this video a bit snappy and go to tinto pagalis who does have that round pod the Team Toe is sat in. Of course, I couldn't get the stud in between there. Well, I could do, but it would sacrifice all the bits on the outside. And it's using that same piece that I use in quite a few of the different pod races. There it is again. The bit that looks like AZ from the Kaminoan facility. If you know the droid I'm on about, you'll know that that piece does represent him quite well. It's a minifigure scale. It'd be nice to get a molded one in the future, but I think we'll have to make do with that. And next to Team Toe, we've got Aldar Bido, who is, I think, similar to Ben right at the start. Another one that is somewhat a fan favourite when you knock out Anakin and Sebulba. A nice purple sloped pod racer, but I didn't really have any purple slopes. So I've gone with a pink instead to keep them different from all the dark blues and the other bluish colours that are on the field. And I think it turned out pretty well. That was quite a straightforward one to build, if I'm honest. And then we go to the probably one of the smallest It's probably not the smallest this one's the smallest here with the round things that we'll get to in a minute but we've got neva keys who is sort of built into the engines the engines are actually behind which if you notice for all of the other pod racers the engines are stuck out and separate to the actual body this is the only one that it's built in and they are connected more or less so that's what I've done with this, just a 1x3 with a slope on the front and the engines on the back, keeping it nice and simple. And then we go to another one that you might recognise the name of, Gascano, who does have the twin green engines at the front. And I have just flipped over the left one to match the right. They are exactly the same, Lego built and in universe. And then because of Gascano's long and pointy head, we do have that stud on the back, which does have that pin that pops out representing Gascano themselves. I think that's all but two of them have been represented so far in studs. The reason Anakin isn't in his pod is because I want to have Anakin and probably even Qui-Gon and everyone stood around. I might even get some brown studs around for the pit droids in the scene. And then moving next to Gascano, we have Arc Rose or Bumpy, Arc Bumpy Rose. I guess that's some sort of in-universe nickname. I'm sure there's a comic explaining it. This is once again a slightly harder pod racer to do. There's so much coming off the engines. I decided to use the double sided bar clip elements and just added a clip on top to accurately represent all the different bits coming off. And of course, the purple stud acting as Bumpy themselves. Next to it, we have another one you might know 
Odie Mandrell, who I think has shown up in a few other different bits of Star Wars canon before the actual pod race, probably on some Tatooine issues, but nothing much really here. There is the cool engines that I've built to wave in and out as they do to fit with the size of the engines and just sort of built the whole thing on that one by one bracket at the back. But the very interesting one is Elan Mac, which is very close to a certain celebrity we will not be naming here, nothing to do with Lego and I'd just like to stay away from it, but it does sound very, very close, Elan Mac, and that is a very spherical pod racer, and as you can see, I've got the two red engines and the white cockpit. I guess they're meant to be joined by rope, but I didn't have any of the clear elements that you can see there in grey, so you just have to imagine them not there. And next to Elan, we have Eb Endocot, which is another funny name to pronounce, but... They do have horns, I think it is, which is why I've used the one by one tile with the clip. And again, a pretty straightforward pod racer, which isn't too dissimilar to even Anakin's or some of the other ones. Next in line, we have Mahonic, which is an awesome name. And they have a little something sticking out at the front of the right engine. So it's sort of like a smaller engine itself. So I have included that clip just on the right engine there. Besides that, they're both identical, and I have centered the pod racer with another jumper tile. And then next to them, we have one Sadage who has a pretty interesting pod race design. I think I've definitely taken some liberties and made it a bit more interesting than it should be, but I think it looks pretty accurate to the reference image I was looking. And then this N1 definitely looks like Mando's N1 with like a clear cockpit in it is actually the pod racer of Clegg hold fast which definitely needs to be going fast to race all the other pods but i think i've done that pretty well as well the engine actually has a bigger front and bigger back with a slimmer middle so i've just used that cone piece to sort of slim down the middle and that is all of the pod racers that will be completing in my mock esper as in Moss Espa, but of course it's a Lego Mock, so I'm now naming it the Mock Espa Pod Race, which will be completed for a video tomorrow. Of course, I am recording these a bit early, so my tomorrow is not your tomorrow, but do be sure to subscribe and come back tomorrow as you will be seeing the Mock in all its might and glory, and hopefully it does definitely look as good as some of these pod racers. So thank you for your support. Drop a like if you did like this video and are excited about the mock reveal tomorrow i will try to resist posting any pictures but keep an eye out in case i do let one slip and give you a sneak peek at the mock to come but anyway may the bricks be with you always